I gotta watch my time. I uh, took a gummy before the show started. It's gonna kick in any moment. Not a pot gummy, it was a melatonin. So, I haven't been sleeping. Just gotta time it just right. I have a million dollar idea. I'll take investors after the show if you're interested. I wanna start making kayaks out of recycled Axe body spray bottles. We're gonna call them douche canoes. I, uh, I grew up in the 80s. Uh, one of my favorite movies from the 80s is Top Gun. Any Top Gun fans out there? Yeah, I love Top Gun. Top Gun taught us that fighter pilots have all the coolest nicknames. You remember what they were? There was Tom Cruise's character. They called him Maverick because he was a maverick, right? Like, he didn't like rules, that guy. And then there was the Iceman. They called him Iceman because he had a really icy disposition. Like, he wouldn't go out for, with coffee, for coffee with you unless it was an iced coffee. And then there was Goose, and they called him Goose, because he ended up splattered on the windshield of an airplane. <laughs> oh, some of us still haven't gotten over that Goose is dead. Give it up, it's, it's 1986, he's been dead a long time. Now the new movie's all about uh, Maverick's relationship with Goose's son, and uh, it's a great movie, if you haven't seen it, go see it. Uh, but I was disappointed because Goose's son was not played by Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I am an awkward person. I have awkward interactions everywhere I go. I was at a bar the other night, and uh, this is pretty typical in a men's room situation. There was a couple of urinals in there, and I went in there, and there was already somebody standing at the tall urinal, and right next to that, there was a short one for any kids that go to that bar. I don't know what that's for. Why do they do that? So I walked in, there was already somebody there, and I said out loud, aw, yours is bigger than mine. I'm not allowed at that bar anymore. No, I have weird interactions everywhere I go, like at the deli. At the deli, they always ask me questions that I don't know the answers to. Like, uh, how thick do you want that? I have no idea how to answer that question. How thick does everybody else want it? I just, I just, I don't know. How, is it, how thick do you want it? I don't, I don't know. All I know is that I don't want to be known as the guy at the grocery store who likes his meat extra thick. That's a reputation that follows you home. So I've been trying to get back at them. I've started ordering things that they can't answer. Uh, give me a week's worth of provolone. <laughs> I'll take 5,000 calories of the potato salad and give me twice as much salami as the next guy wants. And slice it all lengthwise. Anybody gotten a facial lately? Oh, nobody knows how to answer that question anymore. Right? Because we're all sophisticated people. We all know that facials are two different things. Two very different things. And all I'm saying is that we need to change the name of at least one of those because you feel it, it's getting too awkward. I was on the phone with my mom the other day. She was telling me about her day. She's like, oh, I had a great day. I went and got a facial. And that ruined my whole week. Nobody wants to hear that. If you haven't caught up already, there's two different kinds. There's the facials that you pay somebody to give you at a salon, you come out of there and your skin looks better. And then there's the facials uh, that are kind of a surprise. <laughs> but also I hear make your skin look better. <laughs> Unless you have a nut allergy. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm just saying we need to change the name of at least one of those. It would be kind of like if we started calling dwarf orgies, quarter pounders. <laughs> How long do you think it would take McDonald's to change the name of the quarter pounder the next day? I think about orgies a lot. You don't? No, I think it's because I'm a comedian. I think there's some similarities between stand-up comedy and an orgy. Uh, bear with me. There's actually one crucial difference. Like, at a show like this, I'm okay going up sixth in the lineup. I'm okay with other people warming up the room. But at an orgy, I'm going first. I'm going first at the orgy. No, I think there's some things in common with stand-up comedy and an orgy. Like, at a comedy show or an orgy, you'll hear somebody say, oh, you're really gonna love this next guy. He's a good friend of mine. Everybody give it up for Darren. And then everybody gives it up for Darren. And also at a comedy show or at an orgy, uh, when the light goes on, it's time to get off. So that's what I'm gonna do. Have a good night!